It's been a big few weeks for network automation specialist Infoblox, which reported very, very strong fourth quarter results earlier this month. Here to talk to me today is Robert Thomas, the company's CEO. Robert, thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure, James. Nice to see you again. Absolutely. Now, good, good numbers from you guys earlier this month. I saw you made some very positive comments about orders, um, you know, order volumes, and also the number of customers that are coming in. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, we had a very, very good uh, Q4. Uh, every geography uh, was up, EMEA, APAC, and of course North America. We showed strong product growth, uh, and year over year we were over 30% uh, uh, growing. So it was a very, very strong quarter. Our margins were good. Discounting didn't erode during the quarter, so we were happy with that. And uh, we continued to make pro progress with our firewall product as well. It's really, I mean, you guys are in a very, very competitive space. You know, you're up against the likes of Fortinet, against the likes of Juniper. I mean, what is driving the growth at the moment? Well, really, we're not. Um, Fortinet, Juniper, Palo Alto networks all have perimeter-type firewalls and unified threat management and so on. The kind of threat that we mitigate and protect against is uh, the inside-out threat, uh, APT, Advanced Persistent Threat. And because that um, malware is carried via DNS, we're in a perfect position to block that. So we're actually a, another layer in that defense in depth strategy that customers may have. And we're not competitive with Palo Alto, Fortinet, Checkpoint, or any of those guys. Okay, now I mean, obviously we're talking about security here. And you know, it's been in the news in the last few months. We've seen you know, some, of the, some of the massive attacks that have, that have occurred recently from the Syrian Electronic Army and, and various other organizations. I mean, do you think that greater awareness of this type of threat is, is driving your sales? I mean, is a, is a difficult threat landscape good news for Infoblox? Oh, it's definitely good news for us. The kind of threat that we see today is specifically built around DNS, mm -hmm. and of course, that's our expertise. And there's very one, uh, not very many people at all have the kind of expertise we have to kind of track this threat and then mitigate it. Mitigating it is the important thing, not just finding it, but mitigating it as well. So uh, we're in a unique position to do that. And one of the other big trends that we've spoken about in the past is software-defined networking, you know, a technology that's really being pushed by the likes of Cisco, HP, and, and many, many others. I mean, how does Infoblox play around SDN, and what are you guys doing that's different? Well, SDN, of course, as things move to software, and as virtual instances get spun up all over the network, like firewalls, routers, switches, and so on, software instances, then you really need a control plane mm -hmm. that can sit there and control these instances, connect them to the network, manage them, and so on. And uh, as SDN spins up, uh, we are sitting in a unique position. We're actually a control plane in the network today for DNS and DHCP. So it's a natural extension of what we do. We're very, very much involved in all of the uh, SDN forums like OpenFlow and so on. We've created our own reference switch. And in fact, there'll be a press release in the next day or two about some software that we've developed that can measure network complexity. Nice. So I, SDN, I still think, is quite a way off. Mm -hmm. But as it happens, it will be a great boon to our business. So the sense that I'm getting from you is that we could expect continued momentum from you guys during the coming quarters? Well, we've given guidance uh, this quarter to the street uh, on our numbers, and I think we had such a big Q4 uh, that we won't quite see the growth that we saw in Q4 and Q1. But our year-over-year -year growth, Q1 now over Q1 last year, is still around 26 27%. So, yes, I think we're doing well. Okay, that's great. So, so there you have it. Obviously, Infoblox is in a very, very interesting space in networking at the moment, particularly with regards to security threats and emerging technologies like SDN. I'm James Rogers at The Street.